Oh, the questions continue. I need to go to... We need to go to... The Ash Twins, but we also gotta kill some time. Because we need the sand... I wanna go mess around with that other tower. But like I said, we need to kill some time. So, let's first go find another alien to talk to. And I know just the favorite alien to talk to. Gabra. Do we take off or do we just wait until the island launches in this space? Which is more gratifying. We got places to be. So, this is the this is what we're doing. Okay. There we go. Now let's go back to that tower. Oh, okay, good. It's coming at me. Last time it wasn't. Perfect landing. There's the quantum moon. Oh, oh, I thought it disappeared in that little moment. That would have been kind of cool. All right. burn through all of my stuff right now. Fun fact, when your character blinks at the start of the loop, it can make the moon disappear. I know, I've noticed that! <laughs> I don't think the portal, even if it does work, would work until it's cleared off. Okay, we got a bunch of different astrological bodies. Theoretically, this should aim. I want to see what happens if anything happens when this hits em Ember Twin. Problem though. Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah, this is this is my screenshot from the night. We're just gonna tail that as like damn. Stepping off the portal because I don't want to leave right now. 
Oh shit, it mm, I mean, well, would you look at that? It teleported me inside itself. Yes, bears, correct. Oh. We've got so much to do, guys. Let's get let's get started. Nine minutes, two seconds ago. Received data from previous cycle. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant deep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. 13 minutes until end of cycle transmission. So, one of these is from the probe tracking module? That's odd. Okay, so we got a data plate. Oh my god, we got so much to look at. Today we finished the excavation of the Ash Twin. Here in this space we carve, we carve, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all the subterranean plants we, we met while digging. We've also finished relocating all the subterranean plants we met while digging. Also, I'm just writing that down because it's weird. Finished relocating all sub We met while digging. I'm going to pause all this for just a second. I'm going to go create the ambiance for what we're experiencing here. Sweet. There we go. If you saw my setup right now, you would laugh. I have a... Oh, screw it. I have a... That's a sea salt lamp sitting on top of a small trash can next to my computer. All right, turn up the sound and away we go. I know, fancy, right? Hey, I have a sea salt lamp next to my TV. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about people being able to see you at the same time. We've also finished relocating all the subterranean plants we've met. We'll need to keep our eyes out on how significantly we altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiment at the high energy lab, right? I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Pope just sent the warp core from the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Kassava is working with Avis to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Fox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, the cores could have been forged faster if Kassava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through the Ash Twin now, and also I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. So Polk just sent the warp core for the final warp tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin will be connected with Giants Deep, where Kassava is working with Abbas to correct the little rope cannon. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Okay. 
Our friends on Giants Deep tested the Orbital Probe Cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well, that Avis advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avis can. But then, if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Evans. Perhaps I should check with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Evans that Malo, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Malo part of the problem? Fox and Daz finished the memory statues today. They are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. The memories will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Adia have worked hard on the Sun Station, and at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, which it didn't, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion which will in turn supply power to the Ash Twin, supply the power that Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order to the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will align, again trigger the supernova to send the probe data back from the cannon launch, from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. I just want to stop right here and mention that back to my checklist that we had, my next list on the thing was Ash Twin Project Timing Sequence. And I wanted to lay out literally what I'm learning right now. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun. Sun Station receives the order. Where does it receive the order from, though? From where? Maybe that's just the initial trigger. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the or the order of the orbital will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger supernova to send the probe back, edit it back from this cannon. Total each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last 22 minutes. We can cycle out will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Adia, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Ooh, hang on. We are halting our research in creating a supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored something new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Oh my gosh, there's so many. We're going to come back to those things in a bit. I totally changed my mind. We're going to go on these because they don't do anything interactively different to the place. Okay. Timber Hearth. My gratitude for the latest shipment. 
This should be the last we need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the core, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the core could lead to disaster. So we get to put each one of these into this. Yep, yep, been here. Okay. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project, Fox. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Tracking module. Interesting that that would be one of them. I have exciting news. Rivet. The Astron project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but should be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The orbital probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, now I'm worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Remy. Yep, that's kind of where I figured it would show me. Could you imagine if you accidentally came here the first time you went on the portal? Like, you would ruin the whole game for yourself. I have good news, Yarl. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of the Ash Twin project. That's what I'm looking at. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone on Ash Twin is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. I already read this. The, uh, the core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished and my sister tells you otherwise she will be finished as well. I really don't know how much I can check the cycle, but I'm like, I don't know how much time I have left because most of it's been paused to read. This should show me. Yeah, next to the Black Hole Forge.
Whoa. We're getting close to the sun, otherwise that gravity problem wouldn't have happened. I got eight minutes left. We can do a lot in eight minutes. Well, that didn't work. Oh, my scout, like, just, uh, went on its own little personal journey there. Oh, I kind of wonder what would happen if I jumped off this thing. Not enough to do it right now, but just enough to wonder. Artificial gravity control. That can stay there. I didn't mean to turn you on all the way. No, I don't. Ah, uh, stop. You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. I've already looked at the map. I'm dead center in the middle of the... I know what I should have done, and I didn't do it. Hello. Here's the big question. If I take that and the supernova happens and I'm not finished, do I lose? Should just be able to take it. Okay, there we go. We have T minus. Got thirteen minutes left. ships over there. Nice thing is Did the ash wait, did the sand stop because the guys, the music Holy crap, guys. How long did it take me to get used to the controls? I haven't yet. Like my heart's pounding, dude. ship log.
I'm scared. Like, I'm excited, and I'm scared. Yeah! Guys, we're doing it. I'm going the wrong way. Oh crap, I'm going the wrong way. That's okay, we just won't move. We just won't move. Just don't, just don't move, ever. Because I needed to go to the one that was up. I went to the one that's down. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know, it's like, take your time, but I don't have time to take my time. But we're gonna get past this rod here. <laughs> don't get eaten. Take your time, but don't get eaten, but hurry up. Hi, Mr. Mr. Mike's. So, sorry, I'm a little, a little focused right now. Hi, welcome in. What can I call you for short? Touch anything. Oh crap. Oh my god. God. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. We did that. Mr. Mix? You have more things to focus on right now. Oh, shit. This is gonna be like the most intense eight minutes of my life. There's so many that's what she said moments in that moment right there, but we're just gonna let that one slide. Ships that way. But we gotta get closer too, because we can't. The, the, we survived because that thing ate the other side. Holy crap! Like I'm afraid to get in the ship. One, two, three. Don't touch anything. There's one right over there. Actually, this looked like a really good aim. Please don't clip anything. Please don't prove me wrong. <laughs> so, okay. so, Gator. Sonic, are we gonna have a talk now?
That's my reaction to Chuck E. Cheese getting shut down. You know... I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. level critical. Should have filled that up. Whoa. Okay, guys. Well, first let's do this just for fun. It's a portal. I plug in the coordinates, it teleports me to the portal. You, activate. You. All right, we need the combo. Where the hell's the combo? It's right there. Okay. Yeah, Sonic, I am... <laughs> I am literally... Um... I'm pretty confident I'm in the end game of the game right now. Like, m my, my hands are shaking like crazy. Man, just like my brain's not clicking with me on this. Um, Outer Wild Plants, and I'm also not really looking at chat right now. stay. What just happened? Stairs, right? Up the quantum moon. Yep. So is that the eye of the universe then? So what were they always saying? What if somebody conscious 
entity was to enter the eye itself. That's that's what Solomon said. She wondered what would happen if a conscious entity was to enter the eye itself. What do we we Okay, where's that go? I'm not going in first. You go in first. Okay, here we go. Unable to pinpoint location. There's the ship. First time I've seen someone doing that. Hey, while I'm taking a super short mental break here real quick, I'm just going to change. I, I wrote myself a note, and then I just thought about the fact that maybe I will change my dashboard settings to say Endgame. For anybody who happens to be coming by. Heading stream info. Let's uh, get rid of exploration. Search tags. and game. Done. Data. All right, guys, like, excited, scared, <laughs> excited. That, I bet you that orange light there has to be my star. Well, that's not reassuring. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit I was terrified during the star sequence. Oh, was it before or after it got stupid pitch black dark in here. Oh great. Oh you that's not fair. Yeah, I can see why people would be terrified. We're just gonna keep looking down. Why are you looking down? Because I, I would be in real life, too.
Yeah, I understand that, like, flood. Ugh. Gravity is 2.5, so I can't jump. Which means I have to go in. Whose idea was it to turn the lights out? I'm in the museum. Read. Water Wilds Venture, founded by Feldspar, Gas and Slate, Hornsfeld to explore the solar system at the end of the universe. No my, never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts at technology, a Hearthian was able to reach the end of the universe. What that quantum shard? Fish is dead, but we're also not going to um, <laughs> give it an opportunity to move. read any of the signs. I read some of them. I'm gonna have to go back and do the end game again. Some of them look like things I'd already read before.
Locke just said yes. Yes, I'm gonna have to redo. Reread a bunch of it all over again. Yeah, there's some stuff I wanted to do on the ship that I didn't do either. Well, now what? No. I don't want to go that way. I don't I don't want to go that way at all. Lily said that Herthian reached the end of the universe. Pretty sure it hadn't said that before. Oh, I suppose. The science serve as a basic review of all you discover and you'll be without him. He's so scared. Shut up, guys. Is that myself? That's a tree. Why do I... Oh. Was a tree. Light the campfire. Yay, roast a marshmallow. I would love to. Yeah, I'm terrified, guys. We already talked about this. Is making freaky noises too. Come on. Ugh. It's okay, Sid. I missed a lot of it too. We're gonna have to redo the end game. Ah! Why? 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 What? What are you? <sighs> Freak! Do you hear music? Oh, stone start with me. there can I talk to you anymore do you hear music no stop Watch, watch the VOD, no worries. Wasn't that big of a deal, Cater? Wow, what did Cater was? He didn't read the Science and Museum. Oh.
Yeah, you can go away now. Oh, jeez. When did that break? more music I'm supposed to be looking for? Like, I'm like buying into this totally the, exactly how they want him to. Like, oh, just have him look around for a while when he starts to question himself and then he'll... Back to the fireplace. <sighs> hey! I found you. Uh, it's it's um not quite time yet. Pretty sure we need the others for the next part. We'll need you know everyone. Isn't this relaxing? No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. This is the one that's... no. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck! I knew that was happening! Get out of my way, creepy crap. Yeah, let's just book it back over there. I don't want to be over there. Yeah. <laughs> I said no, this isn't happening when the angler fish can <laughs> Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have your company around the campfire, isn't it? Go on, go get the others. Wouldn't want to miss out. This should be the last scary thing. Oh, game. Don't tell me that. Like, surprises. I knew that would be the scariest, though, because... Because I knew that one was Dark Bramble. Chill down my spine because of that ankler. Wait. feel like it's like coming this way great it's coming this way now it stopped coming this way oh because it's that thing right there got it Shit. 
shade. Across the old park, you're punk. We gotta follow his poetry to get to him. In the ancient glade. You're really gonna bring me like right back where I was. It's always dark. I don't even know which way I'm facing anymore. Oh, hey, look. Down. Whoa! Wow. I don't remember this one. Oh, snap. Let's talk to everybody and let's go investigate it afterwards. Uh, hi, Gabbro. Hey, pal, time, so you're getting... Or, hey, time, pal, so you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Sure. The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our star was ultimately, ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them while you go gather everything. All right, guys. He caught me. That's weird. Okay. I could not figure that shit out on my playthrough. Sorry. I was freak I was freaked if out at this point in my play, though I wasn't in a hurry to see someone repeat my experience. Oh no no no. This is all about letting me have that experience and laughing at it. Or just watching me struggle. Wait, before we activate it, is there anything I'm supposed to read? <laughs> okay. Nineteen seventy nine. Somebody's birthday, I bet. That didn't do anything.
Whose is that? Is that Solomon? Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? And I will wait until you are ready to know that answer. What do you say, buddy? Time, buddy. Ready to start the music? Not yet. Not in a rush, not going anywhere. What do you say then? Should I get the old harmonica? Not yet. You got a hatchling. I can't wait to play the old group again. Can I start? Not yet. Oh, okay. So they're all going to say the same thing. Let's start with Solomon. Conscious Observer has entered the eye. Let's get everybody playing their music first. Hehe, <laughs> this should be cool. Yes, get the harmonica going. There goes nothing. Task, talk to Esker. Can't wait to play with the whole gang group again. Can I start? Yes. Okay, I won't let you down. Shall I begin? Do it. Well, then, here I go. Did I begin? Yes. You got it. Do my best. Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. The song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. Solomon, what's happening? Tell you what, this has been really fun. I gotta help make something really cool so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? Um, I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the in innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Not yet. It's tempting to linger in this moment with it while every possibility still exists, but unless they are collapsed in a, by an observer, there will never be more than possibilities. You, I learned a lot by the end of everything. Past is past now, but that's you know that's okay. It never really, it's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even when we won't get to see it. Still, it's um, time for something new now. Dirt. Even though it's over now, I had a good time learning, but I think the rules are about to change. Wow. How long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around the campfire? Rompa? I'm really happy we're all here. I talked to you? You cut it a little loose, don't you cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. I hope that there are beasties in the next one. No! No no no. What is, what is wrong with you? I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. 
Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Yeah, do I just... Do I just jump in it like an idiot? Whoa! My controller is shook. Final thoughts? I should have read everything in the museum. That, that was tense. Whew. Well, well, that's that. I didn't... The anxiety is starting to come down now. There's so much I still didn't do in the game, though. So many other questions I had. And sorry for the distraction. Welcome in, Mr. Mix, if you're still here. What's the next game? Or or is Minecraft next? No, Minecraft is something we is a sandbox game. In its greatest form. I was straight up bawling at this point. A truly beautiful game. It is. Because when you take the core out of there, you're like the whole game is essentially purgatory. You are Minecraft only streams after this. Uh, the whole game, you're just in purgatory the whole time because you are trapped between the life of living, that 22 minute loop, and then death of everybody you know. And just when you pull the plug on it, you end everything. This ending put in my top three. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played. Yes, I'm I'm not even gonna argue with you on that one. I would totally agree with you. <sighs> so I had everything put together. I just didn't know where the warp core was. The ending, but something else you haven't seen yet made it my game of all time. I feel like there's still, I gotta sit through the credits here. For an indie game with no fancy graphics or even voice acting to give so many emotions, such an amazing thing. Yeah. greatest of all time for you I died permanently five times before making it to the vessel and that's that that's that you're dead no fancy credits you just died screen it kicks you back to the menu <laughs> well that's good to know so I didn't screw up on my final run my god we cut that close though when we were in when we were in um, dark bramble and I activated the one creature the only reason he didn't kill me is he and I were going for the pod from different angles. And so, like, I was going in and he was like, and he, like, clomped onto the pod as I was going into it. That was intense. I think we're going to do at least, 
I got eaten by the bramble fish when I was trying to finish the game. Same. That was a really good, intense way for me to end that final sequence. What time is it for me now? It is 3.20. 3.15 a.m. And I gotta be up in like five and a half hours. Okay, correction, my children will wake me up in five and a half hours. So. I have one few things we're gonna do. One, I am going to, um, I'm gonna create, for anybody new coming in, let's just start with that. Hi, anybody new coming in, my name is Gator Stumps. I stream, I used to stream Outer Wilds on Saturdays and Skyrim on Wednesday nights. We do have a Discord channel, that's where I update our stream schedule. Um, we also have a sub channel for um, Skyrim for things that pop up there, and it's a sub channel for Minecraft because there's a lot of stuff I do off screen that I like to share, but um, I don't have any other way of sharing it except to put it on Discord because I don't I don't stream Minecraft enough because I'm not really doing any, doing anything. I'm just sort of like fiddling around. Um, but I think after this, we're probably going to create a Outer Wilds. Uh, sub channel because there's so many clips. Hang on a second, guys. See if there's anything at the end here. Eight point three billion years later. really pretty. I want to get my face out of there. Ah, oh, damn, too late. 